Okay, welcome back everybody. Today we're going to learn how to make nickel hydroxide for the nickel iron batteries. So first you'll need 26 grams of uh, nickel sulfate, hexahydrate. That comes off of eBay. Read the warnings on the back. Do not inhale. Wear a mask when putting it into the little container here and crushing it up. The other chemical is um, sodium hydroxide, caustic soda from your, just your general shop. We need 20 grams of sodium hydroxide in 350 mils and 26 grams of nickel sulfate in 450 mils. So we'll dissolve the nickel sulfate first. That'll take a while. Discard of your little containers. Gone. All right, we'll dissolve that and I'll, um, I have a stirrer, but you can do it by hand, just takes a while. So remember, don't breathe in that fumes, the dust off of this. Okay, once you have both salts dissolved, slowly add sodium hydroxide to your potassium, I mean your nickel sulfate solution, and it should start changing colour and getting thick. speed. Increase the stirring speed. Okay, allow that to stir in for a couple of an hour or two. Um, don't tip any of the liquid out into the drain bad for marine life. Leave it in a container and let it evaporate and then scrape the salts up and bag it and bin it is the best way to get rid of your solutions. So once this is all stirred up for an hour, you let it settle and then siphon off the liquid into another container and put that aside somewhere so that it can evaporate out. It's best to do this job in the summer, it goes a lot faster. Then add some water. I just use tap water for washing. I wash it about four times by filling it up and stirring it all up and letting it sink. Then repeat and do that four times and you should have some clean potassium hydro I mean nickel hydroxide. So you need 450 mils of water for the nickel sulfate. 26 grams of nickel sulfate. Sodium hydroxide, you need 20 grams and 350 mils. Now back, it's the second day. It's um, settled down to about that distance there. So I'm ready to, I siphon it off with a little hose. I stick some water in the hose, hold my finger over one end and and it pours out quite easy. So I'll do that and then start the cleaning. I'll fill it up with water and leave it and let it settle again and repeat that three times, three to four times and it should be clean nickel hydroxide. The first liquid, what's left in there after the first run should be sodium sulfate because of the sodium hydroxide and the nickel sulfate. The sulfate binds with the sodium. But there's probably um, nickel in there, so you best to leave it in your tub, let it evaporate, clean up the salts, bag them and chuck them. Don't put it in the drain. One thing left to do with the nickel hydroxide is let it evaporate and dry out. You can um, put it in the oven or something, but not your house oven. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't recommend that. So I just do it outside. 
takes a couple of weeks and you're done. All right, so that's how you make nickel hydroxide or a version of it. You can get all technical with the pH levels and everything, but this seems to be okay for a home usage. So thanks, thanks for watching and catch you on the next video.